Okay, welcome to this quick tutorial on how to set up headphone or cue mixes on uh, the console app um, from uh, Universal Audio. So what we're going to be using for this is the virtual channels um, on the Apollo itself. So in the console app, if you scroll all the way to the right, you'll see we have four virtual channels here. And by the way, this is there is... Um, posts about this on a UA's website, which I will link as well. Um, so we're going to be using these. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up the individual um, tracks that we would want to use. Um, so if you right click here, um, you can link these. Um, so I'm going to, that's not what I wanted. I want to link. Um, so I'll call this first one, I'll call it track. So this is just going to be the full track that's going to get sent to here. Um, and then let's say, the next one we want to be uh, dr drums, let's say. Um, and then, so we only have two. If you use stereo, there's only two. Um, so you can have up to eight, at least on my Apollo. If you go to menu, view, settings, um, in the hardware section, you can select how many virtual channels you want, and you can have up to eight. So select those, exit out, and then if you scroll all the way to the right, there are four more channels here. So the only other one I want to do is I'll have a click track. Okay, so that, uh, one more thing, um, it gets kind of tedious scrolling back and forth here. So if you go to view or menu, view, uh, show, hide inputs, it will let you um, kind of turn off or hide the individual channels. So next what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to Pro Tools. Um, I'm using Pro Tools, but this can also be done in Logic or any other DAW. So I have just a simple um, session here. I have two drum tracks, um, which are getting routed to a drum aux right here. And then that drum aux is getting sent to this master. Um, so the, this master track isn't a master fader. Um, it's just an aux track that I renamed master, just FYI. Um, and then I also have this random loop that I found that I'm also sending to master. So um, how you set this up is we're gonna be using the sends um, on the tracks that we wanna send over. So if you go over to console, remember we set it up, we had track, drums, and click. So we're gonna to wanna to set up a similar thing here. So for track, we'll use the master because we wanna send the whole track. We'll go to send and it's in the output section. And then uh, if you scroll down, you'll see the SPDIF and you'll see the virtual channels here. So I've actually renamed this one, um, but you, these would be, this will say virtual one and two, virtual three, four, and then we have virtual five, six, and seven and eight. So you just select which one you want and then option click to get it to Unity. And then I always select it to pre-fader. So adjustments here won't affect uh, what's getting sent to the console app. So then we'll do the same thing for the drum aux output, um, virtual three and four, get into unity, pre, and then the last one was the click. So just FYI, how I renamed these is as soon as you set it up, um, you can right click on it here and then you can hit rename, which will allow you to rename the track to whatever you want. Now these names do not correspond to the console names here. So we, these are just called track, drums, and click. And here uh, they are UA click, UA track, UA drums. The names do not uh, correlate to each other. They're completely separate, so you have to rename them individually. Um, okay, so the, and that's all we need to do in Pro Tools. Just make sure you have the sends all at Unity and all getting sent to pre. So if I play this and I go over to the console, you will see that I'm now seeing all of my signal in the track, the drums, and the click, um, which is exactly what we want to see. So um, now we can set it up to how we want it for the different headphone mixes. So first off, um, I am going to mute all of these two. Um, because I'm hearing a double, I'm hearing what's coming out of the mix, basically what's being sent out of Pro Tools, and then I'm also being sent out what's coming out of these. So now let's set up the headphone mixes themselves. If we go over to Q outputs right here, 
this is where we can start setting stuff up. So Q1, Q2, we have these. These correspond to the headphone outputs on the Apollo itself. So I have two, so I have two um, here. If you have one of the smaller Apollos, I think they may only have one, I'm not quite sure, um, but regardless. So you see here we have two options. Um, we can either have them here mix, which is what we will hear, or what the speaker what comes out of the speakers, or we can set it to a separate Q2. So let's do that. So um, you set Q2, and then we use these faders here to adjust what uh, comes out of head, uh, headphone two. So they're gonna wanna hear the track most likely. So you can adjust track right there. Um, wanna hear some of the click, so you can adjust the click there. Um, drums, maybe they wanna hear extra drums. I don't know why, why a singer would wanna hear extra drums, but. Um, and then this is, let's just call this the, whoop. oh gosh, the vocal track here. Um, this is just what I'm speaking out of though. Um, and then we can do the same thing. So send out Q. So if I then, I don't have headphones pu plugged into Q2 right now, but if I were to have headphones plugged into Q2, they would be hearing my voice. Uh, and then if I played the track, everything's set up exactly how it is here. Um, so, and that, that's how you do it. So the last thing that may want uh, to be done is to set up a reverb send for the singer. So the singer can hear themselves singing with the reverb, um, but it won't get tracked. Um, so how you do that is you go back over to the right uh, under the show section, there's aux. So these are the two aux sends that we have. Um, I think, oh no, I can't rename them, never mind. So we'll insert a reverb on this track. We'll set it to mix 100. And then we can use this, um, here's our two auxes. So the aux fader to send part of the signal to the uh, to the reverb. So you see it here coming up and you can hear that my voice is getting more and more reverb if I turn it up really high um, or low. So you can adjust it to taste for uh, for yourself. And then you'll use these two knobs to send it specifically to the headphone uh, outs. So you can dial it in however you want it there. Um, and that's basically it. Um, this is a really nice, really easy way to do it so that the vocalist or what, whoever's recording can hear themselves with zero latency or very, very little latency. And also with some built-in effects that aren't going to get recorded um, and yeah, it's great. I use it all the time. Thanks.